Uh, today we're going to give an intro of uh, our new space, PDX Barbell Club 4.0. Uh, today is Saturday, uh, February 8th. Um, it's going to be our grand opening. We got a few members here already and a couple new people. Looks like they're having all, all having a good time. Sorry about the loud music in the background. Uh, we just right. opened up about an hour ago, so uh, people will be trickling in, I think. That's the entrance right there for most uh, general members. Uh, first thing they see here is kind of like our accessory area. Mark's on the lap pull down right there. Next to him is our uh, leg extension, leg curl machine. Um, this is our reverse hyper. Uh, we mostly use this for a desk. Uh, some people use it. Um, leg press over here. And then uh, this is our belt squat, uh, lat pull down combination. Captain's chair over there to do uh, ab machines, pull ups, tricep dips. Um, this is a newly acquired uh, isolated low row machine, plate loaded, um, very smooth, we love it. Um, yeah, over here we have a lot of attachments for the cable machine too, so we don't talk about this stuff too much, but like the mad grips are one of the favorites, so we try to keep everything organized here. We have the turf over here, this is the same turf I think that they have at the Rogue Fitness facility, uh, it's padded a little bit. Um, 50, I think 52 feet long by 15 foot wide. So that area is uh, just a general uh, training area, mobility and warm up as well. We're starting to focus a little bit more on strength and conditioning type exercises, expanding to uh, a different type of market as well. So uh, moving to the center right here, um, this is our dumbbell rack, um, wide variety of uh, adjustable benches as well as a flat bench here. Um, dumbbells from five to uh, 125 pounds. Um, although there is now probably a need for heavier dumbbells based on member input. Um, and then off in that little corner over there, uh, seated barbell shoulder press. And then over on that side is a uh, dedicated incline press as well. Um, so along the wall here, we have uh, seven combo racks, um, basically along this whole wall. And then behind that uh, are a wide variety of barbells, uh, ranging from Texas squat bar, Texas power bar, all ba basically all the Texas bars, um, kabuki bars as well, and then uh, other types of specialty bars. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just realized we do have all the kabuki bars too. Shout out to Kabuki. Yes. Sponsor us. Uh, not just kidding. <laughs> but we already have one. We can show you the bars over here. Throughout the year, we were able to acquire a lot of their pieces of equipment, you know, being local. And they definitely helped us with uh, growing our gym and helping us get some good deals on equipment. So like Peter said, the, the Cadillac bar, we, now we probably have a need to get more shoulder rocks. Oh, off in the corner here, um, that is our monolith. Uh, I believe Washington County's only monolith at this point. So anyone who does wraps or likes to not walk out their lifts, um, we have a little special corner for you guys over there. So. AKA the introvert corner. No, I'm just, just kidding. Introverted, <laughs> strong, really strong wrap yeah, lifter. Don't corner. bother me while I'm training. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of chains over there. So. Yep. Still a little messy in the area, we're cleaning up. <laughs> this is a uh, Texas Power Bar. We have plenty of those. Personally, a favorite for USPA lifters. That's what, uh, that's what they use in competition. Thanks to Lifting Large for helping us get all these deadlift bars. Actually, almost all of our Texas bars are directly from Lifting Large, uh, which is local here in Oregon. Yep. So check, out, check them out, liftinglarge.com. <laughs> Another plus. <laughs> That's for you, Mike. So these are also the fixed benches from Texas Strength System. Uh, throughout the year, we've also became really good friends with the owner of uh, Texas Strength System. Wes Dunker and his team over in Texas have been very helpful, again, for the growth of our gym and just helping us out whenever we need. So. Um, there are plans to kind of have these as the uh, competition or meet 
uh, platforms uh, in the future when we do host meets in this uh, new space. And then, uh, of course, calibrated plates. No powerlifting gym is complete without calibrated plates. Um, so we got a couple here and then a couple on uh, the new uh, dishwasher, dish rack. That's what they call it, the dish rack. I think in total we have enough to do six or five sets of uh, calibrated. Yeah. So hopefully that grows more. Uh, there's definitely a need for those. So uh, over here is our Rogue Echo Bike. Um, of course the tank that we uh, just talked about, the sled. And then there are plans to add in a roller as well. Because uh, apparently people like cardio equipment. And then yeah. of, of course over there, uh, two Kabuki trap bars, more for that strength and conditioning market as well. And, uh, along the wall here we have uh, a variety of mobility type equipment. Um, in that corner over there, um, various types of bands. So we got all the bands from Rogue. Uh, equipment or attachments for the tank right here. So we have this uh, torque fitness tank. Uh, in the beginning of when we started the gym, we also reached out to them to see if they could help us out with the deal. So we, they definitely did help us out and appreci we appreciate that. So, so this, this, uh, this works differently for most sleds, whereas uh, most sleds are weight-based. Basically, you stack more weight on, you increase the resistance. Um, this works by way of magnetic resistance. So, different levels. Currently, it's on. Uh, it looks like two, but four different levels. Uh, three being the hardest. And actually, the cool thing about it is, the harder you push, the harder it fights against you. So, it's a different type of resistance. Uh, resistance where you don't have to add weight. Yeah, these plates on here are just meant to keep it down, so it doesn't slide. So it actually doesn't make it any harder. Just so the wheel don't slide on the turf. Storage for a member, right over there. Uh, the ladders are not part of the gym equipment. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Sonos Play 1 right here. Play 5. Play 5, sorry. Play 5, we actually have two of those. One here, that's a sub. I think uh, I over there is another Play 5, and then four Play 1s in the center. So yeah. hopefully no, no pockets of empty music. Um, and then members get to control the music via this iPad right here. We're going for a pretty uh, hard lift for a new PR, you know. Just enter right here and go to their Spotify. Enter in uh, whatever song you want. And then I'll flash through the sound yeah. system here. And music um, is definitely an important part of the gym, so we invested in the some good sound system. Yeah. Good sound system. This is our uh, poker table. Uh, members get to sit here and converse and chat. Charge station. Play <laughs> poker if they want to. So all these charge cables. Yes, we uh, have Android cables too. <laughs> For you know Android users, because Androids are superior. <laughs> so before we had one bathroom. Now we have two uh, ADA size bathrooms, so we can accommodate. Uh, the drinking fountain is also ADA, so we get a lot of questions. Uh, did you did you guys mount that drinking fountain for you, Steven, to your shorts? No, it's because people in wheelchairs also need to drink water too. So February eighth, today, grand yeah. opening. So hopefully, uh, good future ahead of us. Uh, and then, of course, meets here as well. Hope to see you guys here, and uh, thank you for listening to us talk. Hopefully. You were able to understand us. Maybe Ron will put captions for us. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Ron. Lift Thanks, Ron. Media. Yep. Made the trip here for us. <laughs> That's it, Ron. <laughs> <laughs>